Good afternoon. I am planning on painting a whole bunch of watercolor cards with very simple designs so that I can paint a lot quickly. So my first one is gonna be a simple watercolor tree um, using this really pretty metallic blue Arctic Rose. Um, I painted a bunch of these last year for my students. And so this year, slightly different design. Everybody's gonna get some original watercolor by me. And then I'll sign the back of it. So I'm gonna paint a few that are like this. Um, maybe a couple that are little hollies and um, a whole bunch of other quick, simple designs for the holidays. So if you wanna give me a suggestion below, please do. We'll stick with this metallic tree in a few different colors to start with though. Just because once I, I paint one, I can, I can do a few <laughs> before getting tired of it and forgetting how to do it. So there we go, Arctic Rose from KMS. Maybe we'll do a few snowmen. I feel like I can do a few of those quickly. And then we'll switch this tree up into something pink. All right, so I think that one looks pretty done to me. I could add another layer of a blue, so a different metallic blue, just so it's not super flat. So just in some places. That livens it up a little bit. I know it's really hard to see the metallic color. Kind of just all blends together, but there we go. A quick metallic tree. Hi, Erin. <laughs> I'm planning on painting, gosh, at, at least 60 of these uh, in the next week and a half. So <laughs> time for another one. <laughs> Um, this one I want to be a pink tree, so we'll go with raspberry flurries and a little mulled wine in there. <laughs> Aaron, you, you got, it's okay, you got it close enough, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever even seen a cat paw. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's see how raspberry flurries works for this. I'm thinking this would also be a really good color for um, a snowflake. So that's another little design I want to do. A very loose snowflake, though, because I don't want to spend time getting a ruler out and all of that. So let's, let's see this as a, a tree. You know, you were, you were doing your watercolor cards pretty recently, um, but with ink as well. So I'm trying to do these kind of like one layer, one coat, the fewest amount of colors as possible, but something that's still cute and meaningful. So hopefully this still looks like a tree. 
Hi, hopeful optimist. Yeah, we got a lot of people watching today. How many of you are painting your own cards this year? Are you already done? Are you still working on them? I must say, I'm kind of impressed this still looks like a tree. Um, I don't feel like I'm doing too much with the brush here and it's still coming out tree-like, so I'm impressed by that. Heather, beautiful colors, thank you. Hopeful Optimist, well, I got you covered with some inspiration there, gingerbread cookies. <laughs> That's actually, I have to keep that in mind. I really like that idea for, for a card here. Okay, so this mold wine is, I think, a, like a discontinued KMS color. Like, you might be able to find this in some sets, but this is not going to be around much longer. So if you can find it in a set, I would suggest grabbing it. It's a really pretty color. <laughs> you look at that, just a few little pops of that. It's so pretty. And there, another tree done. <laughs> do you like blue or pink better I must say for watercolor cards I really like the pink but I think that means I should do another color maybe I've got so many right let's see peppermint mocha hmm. maybe a really brilliant blue let's try north pole for the next one Heather, um, these particular small ones that I'm doing, I'm doing them for my students. I'm a chemistry teacher. Uh, I do sell my work, so I have actual watercolor cards. If you'd like a design on a watercolor card, I could do that for you. Um, I just finished my mom's cards, actually, so I could do that. Um... The nice thing is if you want a commission piece, you could tell me which colors you want or you can, you know, give me free reign, whatever you want. Let's see, North Pole, I think, would look really good. There we go, that's all woken up now. I did a bunch of different gingerbread designs last year. Um, what else did I do? I did a few wreaths. I think I'll do another quick wreath on one of them. I did, what else did I do for last year's design? I did like a little scene with lots of trees. Uh, sort of like my painting from gosh was this yesterday this is what I did yesterday so basically this but micro I really like North Pole for this I think I need one more layer just bringing it down a little bit Every time I paint a tree, it looks a little bit different. <laughs> Just 
still think that looks tree-like. <laughs> okay, there we go. One more. Maybe I should put that over here now. <laughs> See, same but different. <laughs> um, let's see. I have a couple other palettes. Oh, I have one that is emerald. I think we should try an emerald tree. Let's see how this looks. And then what else could I do? I think I did stockings last year um can't remember i think i had more designs than that thank you i love my cat <laughs> okay emeralds it's a little bit trickier to work with I think it has to be quite saturated for you to really see the, the emerald sheen to it. So let me add a little bit more. It's kind of got to be opaque. <laughs> you know... I love my cat. Um, I don't have a cat. I have a dog. So I, she's not even in the room, but I felt a little guilty <laughs> just saying your username. I was like, Zena, I hope you're not within earshot of this. I love my dog. <laughs> okay. So I'm, I must say this is a little bit tricky to deal with because it's, um, you can really only see the green. In person, it's more green, uh, I must say, but like I think right there, you can see some of it in there. It's a little bit harder to tell. I think garland, I have garland in here somewhere. I'll do garland next. You'll be able to tell the difference with that one. Like you don't need as much of it to, to see the green color. Just a touch more saturation in there. Okay. Okay, it still looks green. But I'll switch it up and use garland. You'll notice a difference right away. So that's emerald. Um, and then maybe I'll do something like 10 trees and then switch over to something else. Mm. Should I do, let's see, something like a string of lights? I think that might be fun. Cause then I can just do the lights and then go in with some black ink, kind of tie it all together. Okay, so here's a garland. Different metallic green. You can see right away that there's a, a shimmery green color there, right? And it has a nice flash of light green to it. I have to say, I'm kind of impressed I've been able to keep my trees centered. Knock on wood in there, saying that. So what should my next design be?
So there's the, the big difference between garland and uh, emerald. I think it's that micro shimmer of green. And then, there we go. I don't know. Can you even tell that they're two different greens? <laughs> In person, it must be easier to tell. I don't know. You tell me. Um, let's do. Oh gosh. Want another blue from this colossal set of Winter Wonderland? Let's do another blue. Um, icicle. Let's do that one next. Is there any that you want to see? I, it looks like I haven't touched Blizzard. Um, Scorpio might look good too. Blueberry Snowflake is a very chunky one. Do a metallic sparkly one. <laughs> They're all metallic, so which, which, um... Which one? This was North Pole. I'm gonna try Icicle. Snow Day could look pretty good too. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's see. Uh, Icicle, since I've said that one. Let's do Icicle first. Champagne? Oh, Virginia, that's one of my favorite colors from this set. I'll do a champagne tree for you, sure. Let me get Icicle out of the way, and then I'll do champagne next. That's very glitzy. Alright, here is Icicle. I might need to do like a secondary blue like I did for that one. This might be a little too um, too light. Let's see. Um, where do I get a palette? These are from KMS. So she's got a whole bunch of different collections. She's got her monthly color clubs. So six matte, six metallic. Um, but she does special sets as well. So you can get something like this or... If it's not in your budget, something like this. Uh, they're all on kmswatercolors.com. Let's see, more icicle. I almost forgot which color I was using here. <laughs> um, this is perfect for holiday cards because that's what I was using last year. And these are all little sampler pans, which might seem like a sample is a one watercolor session, but some of these you can tell that they're, they have some dents in them that I've used them, but like I said, I was using them to make almost a hundred cards and it's only a dent, so they will last you a long time. And thank you, Ash, I appreciate that. super sparkly but I might want to add something like winter's raindrop in there as a, as a color to make this pop uh, I am using a size 4 round brush from Princeton this is part of their velvet touch collection it's my favorite for smaller scale paintings <clears throat> So it's very sparkly, but the color is not quite intense on its own. So I want to add a few brush strokes of this darker blue. And then we'll do the champagne one. That'll look beautiful on its own. I've used that before.
so there we go just a little bit of that darker blue in there that's winter's raindrop yeah and I'm no expert on painting trees but it's a loose style, so it looks like a tree in the end. <laughs> All right, time to do champagne. Yeah, like low lights, exactly. I have a few golds, so what I could do is I could um, do a few gold trees, but have them as different golds, kind of like swatching my golds. Would you like to see that? Champagne is one of my favorites. But I've got golden leaves. I've got glitzen. All right. Look at that. It is stunning already. Like this one doesn't need any secondary colors, I think. You, it's beautiful on its own. <clears throat> you can already tell. It's a beautiful color. You know, I think, I think I might be happy with just painting around 60 of these in different colors. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? Um, this is definitely one of my go-to golds. But so is Golden Leaves, and I'll show you that one next. And then I'll show you C-3PO, because that one, um, it kind of blows all the other golds out of the water. It's one of my favorites. So this is what I'd say is a subtle gold. Um, it's almost antique, right? It's got a vintage feel to it. Um, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful gold. That's champagne. Um, let's see, I think I just want a little, a little something extra on that side to balance it out. Okay, so that's champagne. Uh, I'll show you golden leaves, uh, C-3PO and glitzen. So let me show you in the sampler pan, it, they, they kind of just look the same, right? Champagne, golden leaves, they look gold. <laughs> so let me show you golden leaves next. It's another beautiful gold, easy to use, not a lot of water to get it woken up and opaque very pretty let me put that right there okay okay it's um very intense <laughs> r2d2 would that be a blue i think of that as a blue color here here it is already some differences it's a much I don't want to say darker it's um, it's I don't know not more orange either there there's differences <laughs> somebody with words Kyle hello <laughs> hey. I am painting so many trees today <laughs> yes i'd say intense as well it's um i don't know this this is more of a a gentle highlight antique finish oh kyle already leaving me <laughs> it's okay 
Thanks for popping in and saying hi. Uh, I'll be doing my Bob Ross over here, just painting happy trees. It's a pretty intense color. You're right, Virginia. <laughs> no, it's okay, Kyle. Go, go, go. I'll see you another time. Okay. Um, one more. Exactly. Now I'm on YouTube because of you. <laughs> you encouraged me to do that. Okay. Let me get... Glitzen, and then you'll see C-3PO. So Glitzen is more on the bronze side of things, I'd say. Still gold. So will you add wording to these, Amy? Um, I haven't decided yet, so I don't do hand lettering. I, that's just not one of the things that I've practiced. Um, I might just add 2023 20, and leave it simple and then sign the back. This is KMS watercolor. What would you add to this, Amy? What would you write? Right, that's the that's it's um, red ish is what Virginia said. Yes, that's why just looking at it, I was like, I think this one's more bronze. It's a red copperish color to it. Amy, I do have some stamps, lettering stamps. Uh, it would take me way too long to to do so many of them, but if it was just a few cards, I'd probably end up doing that. Yeah. Then of course, then you have to kind of line it up and it ends up taking a long time, but it would look really good. Okay, so this is Glitzen. She is another beauty next to Golden Leaves. Yeah, that's much more of a yellow gold. And then this champagne is such a soft vintage gold look to it. All very different. Um, how do you get the watercolor to be metallic? I'm using metallic watercolors, that's why. So these are watercolors from KMS Watercolor. Uh, I adore her metallic colors. So this is C-3PO. You can already tell this one looks different than the rest. You can get them online, kmswatercolors.com. Um, I love this small business because it's run by a young female entrepreneur. Um, she's the sweetest thing. Not me fighting the urge to order these paints right now. Well, Palacios Paints is a discount code for 10% off. I happen to be one of her brand ambassadors. Um, I don't get paid if you use my code. If that's not how that one works. I just absolutely love them and use them so often when I bought my first set. So I, you can see this is my, my collaboration palette with her. And C-3PO is one of my favorites. That's why it went on my um, favorites palette. So you're not going to believe your eyes with C-3PO. How much are the sets each? Um, generally, if you've got the six matte and six metallic samplers, sorry, that's my dog deciding that she wants to open the pantry to get herself a treat. 
<laughs> Sorry for the noise. Um, it's about thirty-three dollars with with the discount code, I think. Um, but if if you can't afford that, it's too much of a treat for you, especially at this time of year. She's got mystery sets, like four colors that you you're not picking out what colors you want, but you can specifically write in there that you want metallics and she'll get you metallic ones. Um, so if you've never got KMS colors before, that is the best deal. Um, off the top of my head, I, I don't know what it is, but something like $12 around there. Um, again, I just like her paints <laughs> and um, Part of being a brand ambassador means I get the monthly colors, which is really uh, priceless if you love watercolor like me. You hate when you're working and your phone rings and you have to actually work. Well, see you again soon. I love my cat. <laughs> So you're going to check the prices. Okay, my my collaboration palette, Leia's Essentials, is sold out currently, but it will be back in January. So uh, can you already see why I love C-3PO? It looks just like his little suit. Super sparkly. Um, Deb, well, now I cannot see that. Ooh, I made a little... I would say a little mistake, but we can just make that into like a, a hill or something. It's because I'm not watching where I put my brush. Metallic mustard. That is, that is interesting. I don't know, is, is that a good description? Would you agree? I just felt like it looked like his little metallic suit that he wears, that he is, I guess. It's a good name for it. The promo code, uh, I should put it in the chat myself. I don't even know how to put a chat in here. Let me see. Um, it's Palacios Paints. I found out how to make a comment. Let me pin that. Discount on KMS colors. Let's see. There it is. I just put it in the chat and I pinned it. <laughs> oh, Deb, I'm so glad you said you liked mustard. So there we go. It looks like it's on fire, right? There we go. Next to Golden Face. And Glitzen. Do we have any dark green? Um, so metallic dark green or uh, metallic dark green? Because I have a couple of both. So let me put these back there. Should I do a few matte ones? I've got enough matte colors that I can do. The same deal. I just thought it would be fun to use metallics. metallics. Um, there, see? And did you want to see? Yeah, these are the metallic dark greens. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of, I should do. Let's see something like, something a bit different. Maybe frosty air. Ooh, indigo pearl. Let me show you indigo pearl. You can see there's a, a nice dent in that one, so I liked it last year. Indigo pearl. And I don't have too many cards left out of this stack, which means I'll have to do some more paper cutting. <laughs> It'll give me something to do tomorrow. So here's indigo pearl. Another metallic, perfect for holiday cards. Okay. Another deep breath. 
<laughs> where I try and find the center because that's the important part. And then everything else after that is much easier. Frosty Air it is next. It's got a nice little color shift to it, so I'll show you that one. I feel like this one is very moody and pretty. It's got a, a hint of purple metallic in there. One more layer to that one. Gotta look for it in this one. Okay, frosty air is up next. And I still have so many colors that I haven't used yet. Okay. I think I used this one in a snowman last year, so I don't know what it's going to look like for a tree, but I guess that's part of the fun of this. Okay, let's find out. Ooh, I like that already. This is not what I was expecting. I think I used a different color last year. Oh, the paper, that is such a good question. And I feel bad for not knowing the, the paper off the top of my head. Um, it's linked in my Amazon favorites. This It was a pack of 50. It's not my go-to paper. So I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know off the top of my head. If you DM me, if you really wanna know, uh, I'll look it up and I'll send you the link to it. And I'll try and and um, remember so I can put it in the description when I post this on YouTube. And yes, th this is another oh wow, Deb. This is super glittery. Um, there's a fine pink purple micro glitter in there. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> What did you end up getting, if you don't mind sharing? I think this is turning out to be one of my favorite blues. Let's do one more layer down here. Oh, it's got such a beautiful purple color shift. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't use this one more last year. It looks just so different in the the sample tin. That's probably why. I'll show this to you next to the sample tin. So that's frosty air, right? That's a pretty light blue with purple pink shimmer. Have a few more. Oop, there goes C three PM. Okay. Uh, Christmas morning, or snow kissed forever winter. Oh gosh, so many options left. How about forever winter? We've seen a couple of blues that are like this, but they they are different and unique. 
So let's show Forever Winter some love. <laughs> Christmas morning. Okay, I'll do that one. Ooh, the December palette. Um, where is the December palette? Okay, hold on. I love my cat. You got this one. Okay, let me show you really quickly. A little side adventure. This is the palette when it's swatched out. Um, some of the most amazing metallics are in there. Look at that. I painted this using those colors. So lots of options. Tree Topper is one of my absolute favorites for a holiday, like little ornaments, little tinsel. It's so cool. So nice choice there. Okay. Yes, it's gonna be yours. Okay, so uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Celeste? Oh, Celeste. I don't know why that took me so long to piece together. Christmas morning, I'll do that one first for you. Again, I used these paints last year to paint a whole bunch. Can you paint with holly? Um, that metallic holly? I used it mostly just as little details, uh, little dots. Um, I think it would look really cute for, let me see, little berries. So I could do something with some little, little holly berries like that and then maybe garland for some greenery and Virginia yeah if you could put the the pricing I'd appreciate that too I know lots of people have questions on that it would help out everybody <laughs> Would we say this is maybe like an aquamarine? Okay, 12 pan monthly color club, 3588. Um, January Color Club, I don't, hmm, I can look into that one. I think that must be a bundle with something else maybe, or you're going to have, 75 is closer to this one. The bigger sets, that's, that should be much more than 12 for that price. So I think this is going to be a less layer to this guy. How do we like this one? Christmas morning. Um, in person, there's a little bit of a color shift, almost to like a teal. That's a pretty one. Special request for some holly and I'll do um, <laughs> so yeah, gotta remember which one is my my wet trees <laughs> and kind of keep them on the top <laughs> um, okay holly I'm trying to get that in view Give it some swishing around there. Okay. Hmm. 
I kept some white space and then immediately paint over it. <laughs> there we go. Some white space there. Yes, um, I love my cat. And that's why I was, for some reason, thinking of my 33, because that's what, that's what it is with the discount code. You're right. Okay, so that is Holly. And I'm going to use garlands to make some leaves. And just because garland is one of my favorite green metallics. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Oof, this is the stressful part, right? It's not quite as easy as with the trees because I want it to look not perfect, but as perfect as I can get it. These are all for my students. How do we like that combo? I almost don't want to do another leaf. <laughs> it was so stressful. And watercolor is supposed to be relaxing. That's so funny. At least that's what I tell you all. This is supposed to be my paint therapy, my relaxing time. And here I am holding my breath. <laughs> hmm. Virginia, I'm going to have to go and look into that one. I'll do that after my live. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, I wish I had my computer next to me that I could look that in, into that. So I should do one more little one here, and then I'll be done with this one. could be that that they're not going to be made anymore. I don't know. I was I was just looking through her site. My niece really loves her colors. And I was thinking about extra little stocking stuffer gifts. So I'll find out what's happening with that pricing. So far, this is the longest card to make, but I really like it. I know Garland is going to be a color that is discontinued because the, the pigment is no longer being made that goes into it.
Oof. There we go. <laughs> Okay, what else we got? You haven't seen the chrome yet. I, I don't know what I could paint the chrome on because it's hard to just see it on its own, right? I did use it yesterday, so let me show you what I did yesterday. Peaches and cream, and that's the chrome along the edges. Um, Jennifer, how do I keep the cards from buckling? Well, there's almost nothing you can do on your end because it's going to depend on the paper quality. Um, this paper does buckle a bit because it's not 100% cotton. And the thing I do is I try my best not to use too much water. Oh, Virginia, you're right. Half pans, not, not the sample set. That's the price difference because most of them are available with either size like you can get the sample set which for me is enough but if you absolutely love the colors you could get half pants of all the colors you figured it out thank you for looking into that and deb yes that would make an amazing silver bell let's see i've got two cards left for my students for this round of cards that i'm making so we've got one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, and ten. I teach chemistry. So tomorrow we're going to make a uh, snowflake out of borax crystals. So we'll do a little talk about... Um, Oh, super saturated solutions and uh, making making solutions of a certain kind. Um, the process of making a snowflake, all the different types of snowflakes there are, a little bit of hydrogen bonding because that's what puts a snowflake together, really. So let me choose two more that we haven't seen yet. Oh my gosh, there are just so many colors. Um, I guess I should go to my essentials palette. I have autumn air here. Uh, chemistry is a junior and sophomore class. So they're for the most part, 15, 16. I do have an environmental science class as well. Those are my freshmen. Um, so yeah, let's do awesome autumn air. It really is the best job in the world. I am so tired when I get home, but it was a an important day. Really work. Okay. Here's autumn air. Um, I'd say out of the ones we've seen, this is most similar to Christmas morning. A really pretty light blue. Beautiful metallic again. Have we seen a metallic that we don't like? Not me. <laughs> you haven't even seen the matte colors. The mattes are really pretty too. I actually mostly paint with them, not metallics. <laughs> Thank you for answering, Virginia. I appreciate that. And I know, Jennifer, you were asking about paper buckling. I can feel the paper curling under this. Um, this is going to dry and it'll flatten out, but I'm trying my hardest not to add too much water to this. 
You can always try flattening your paper under some books. That might help out when you're, you're done. All right, so that is Autumn Air. I'm gonna add just a, a little extra touch in some places here where I went a little bit too light. That is under my Essentials palette because I think it's really pretty blue. <laughs> All right, that means we have one more. This is my last pre-cut piece of paper. One more left. We have some choices to make here. Oh my gosh. I think because we've only used pink like once, um, Gotta do another sparkly pink. Oh, Virginia, you got that triangle, the petals brush from Princeton. I'm so glad you like it. It for me, it's an essential as well. That's it's a must paint with. So here's Cosmos. I think I've got that one swatched already in my my sketchbook. It's that second pink from the left. That's metallic. Um, We've got lots of blue trees, you know, which is nice for the season, but I think I need some more pink trees. I think pink trees in the holiday season are, are a must. <laughs> cosmos, yeah, Cosmos. Okay. Fuzzy socks is also really fun. I didn't think I'd like it as much as I did. You love autumn sky. <laughs> My essentials for a reason. All right. I'm going to be doing this same type of thing tomorrow. Um, I don't know if it's going to still be mostly trees like this or if I'm going to have another simple design and then do a lot of those. Oh my gosh. Yes, we're, we're influencing you to, to get paintbrushes too. Um, man, I guess maybe I should do some wreaths tomorrow and then I'll show you that brush. So I love my cat. If, you, if you're here tomorrow around the same time, I'll do, yeah, I think I'll do a bunch of little wreaths and I'll use my petals brush a lot. Oh yeah, I'm not doing that one again. That's, that's gonna be... Um, a one-off. Maybe, maybe I'll give it to my mom. <laughs> I'm not doing Holly again. Um, the, the petals brush, I think it was in a set. Um, one of those collaborations that they do with artists where they, they have like a pack of four. And the petals brush was one of them, and I've never used it before. I've never used a triangle brush before, and I instantly fell in love. Thank you, Nova. Oh my gosh, I have been painting for a long time here with you guys. Thank you for keeping me company. Oh, I'm glad it's on its own. I have another brush that I'll try and, and convince you to buy. <laughs> Again, I get no money out of this, but satisfaction, because I know you'll like it. Um, it's an oval wash brush. Let me grab it. I love this one. It's so fun. Like, I, I never used to be a big brush kind of person, and the petals that, like, fall off this brush, it is so nice. So that's the Silver Crystal Series Pointed Oval, three-quarter inch. I love that one. That's another one of my favorite brushes. Oh, you had to get that one too, but you haven't used it yet. It's a fun one. <laughs> it just makes you happy. Okay, so what do we think of Cosmos? Um, I love my cat. Um, I should have my Amazon favorites linked to my to my profile somewhere on my TikTok page somewhere up there so all my favorite brushes and and supplies paper it's a big one um you can find that all in one place it's hard for me to remember what they all are 
at any given time, but then I can just go there for when I need to buy more of something, specifically paper. Okay, there we go. Our, our second, I think second or third pink tree. Um, I think I'm gonna add just a touch of mold wine to this one because mold wine is a, a gorgeous one. Very, very potent. <laughs> Look at that. Those uh, low lights. <laughs> So, you know, I'll be back here tomorrow painting some more. We'll do some um, wreaths. And we'll see if it's taking me too long, I'll switch back to trees. But I think I can do a wreath in about the same amount of time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now that's gorgeous. Thank you. Wow, I got so many trees done, so. Yeah, these are all for my students, Virginia. All of them so far that you're seeing, these are all gonna go to my students. I don't wanna put that one on there. That's why they have to be something that I can paint quickly, because I got a lot of them. <laughs> um, and then I've got bigger pieces, right? And so those will probably end up in my mom's house. <laughs> so something like this. And look at more KMS Metallics right there. <laughs> and I am officially out of little cards that are pre-cut. So thanks so much for joining me. I really enjoyed painting with you and I'm excited to do it again tomorrow. Um, I'm happy that you're all going to get <laughs> some paint if you bought some during the live. That's so funny. You have a treat coming to you. Thank you, Nova. Um, I've been painting for three years, so it comes with practice. You can do this too. Be brave. Get a brush, get some paint. Virginia positively running to my studio to paint trees and snowflakes. Oh my gosh, go, go, go. <laughs> And I love my cat. Uh, see you tomorrow for sure. Enjoy the next 24 hours, right? <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs>